Hello everyone. Today's topic is load data in multi-select using Ajax. So let me show you what I'm going to show like in this video. So there will be one category drop down from where you can select your main category and on the basis of that category uh, another drop down will open that will be like that will be loaded in multi-select. So let's get started with our code. Okay, before that, let me show you where I left in my previous video. So that's one select option category one and insert that into database. So that's how that's where I left in the video and I'll be continuing and changing my code from here. So let me just define you the initial steps. What I'm going to do first one is I'm going to change in my view that is change into row that is call md6 that is to call md6 then after that i'm going to change main select and after that i'm going to define subcategory select so let me move to code let's first define div class row with div class call md6 and after that another call md6 and paste select let me rename that with subcategory and id let's say sub select option now remove multiple from the main select and remove the array from the name and last is I need to pass the ID of subcategory sub select option to my JS multi select. And let's check this in browser. If I'll refresh, there you can see now sub select is there and with the multi select option. So the next step what I'm going to do is firstly I'm going to define an on change function on my main select that is category and that function I'm going to define in my script and which I'm going to call my ajax function that will load my uh, file that is get subcategory.php and from there I'm going to load my subcategory options and let's move on to the code let me quickly define my on change function on main sub main select and function name going to be get subcategory and in which i'm going to passing my category value and that will be this dot value let's move on to script and in that function subcategory get subcategory category and let's check if the uh, category is not blank and after checking that let me define ajax inside that with url get subcategory.php that will i'll be creating that file and i'm going to pass the data that is category obviously and after that I'm defining method to which it will be passed and that is post and next is success in which I will be getting my response so let's create my new file that is get subcategory.php firstly in this file I'm going to include my database.php file and after that I'm going to fetch my like data that is sent from ajax that is category and let me check if category is first one is fashion so let's say fashion and i'm going to echo option first one let's say top and after that next i'm going to define is jeans you can say and let me alert my response in my script so let's move to browser and check if i'll select fashion in the drop down there you can see two options that will be displayed in alert so after 
that let's change in our code that is with an id of sub select i'm going to replace the response that is with dot html you can do that and now let's see refresh again in the browser and after browse there is no option let me just hide multi select one from script ones after hiding let me just refresh again the browser and if you will choose fashion there you can see that top and jeans two drop uh, like two options are coming so let me uncomment that again and to load my options in multi select what i need to do is uh, like copy from that multi select and what parameter i am going to send in that is rebuild like is command like if you want to rebuild your multi select and after response also you need to do the same rebuild and what you need to do one more is you need to refresh your multi select so let's move to our browser and check if it's working or not refresh choose fashion in the category and in the drop down there you can see two options they now multi select so that's how you can load your data into multi select using ajax i hope this video is helpful for you thank you so much for watching